Hello chaps and ladies, hello chaps and ladies, Ryan here, I've got my fourth update for you on my Airfix 1 7 second scale uh, Sopworth Camel 2F1 out of the RF Centenary gift set. Um, as a uh, um, unusual business, and also usual business, I've said at the beginning of every, at the beginning of every, of every, at the beginning of every video that I've done on this, um, till now, um, that I've said on every, usual business of a usual, usual business I've said on on every video on this till now. Um, obviously, Airfix, uh, uh, um, huge thank you to Adam and Emily Hewton of Airfix and Hornby Hobbies respectively or they've sent um obviously because they uh, they for sending me this kit out for free um although they sent me this kit for free they have not pulled they have not paid me to say what to say or do um uh so without further or do without further ado um oh and the last shout out being a thank you to my godfather oh and thank you to um so that's quick to say, so that's the quick disclaimer and thank you to my godfather for getting in touch with airfix to arrange all this um update if i can just come on hold just hold your nerve hold your nerve right as you can now probably see here is the sopworth camel as you can see from the uh, from the last update as you can probably see it's all fully painted and glossed up um painting painting was painted in matte hunt was the whole uh the, the airframe itself was completely painted in um the air the aircraft itself was completely painted it was completely painted in matte in, in completely painted in matte 103 cream uh matte 103 cream and um on the wing on the top side of the wing on the top side of the wing on the top sides of the wings the fuselage and the tail plane and the tail and the ta and the um and the tail and the tail plane and the tail planes and the horizontal state and the tail plane um it was then painted in 103 it was then painted in matte 103 uh, matte one uh, matte 86 uh, matte humber acrylic matte finish 86 um olive green which is a slightly lighter which is slightly which appears slightly lighter than uh light which, uh, is, which i think is, is a slightly lighter green uh olive shade of olive than um humbro um, then Humbrol 155 um, Olive Drab Olive Drab and then change hands because it no 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 And then, of course, the um, the cockpit area. Uh, the cockpit area was painted in Humbro twenty in Humbro twenty not in Humbro twenty nine uh, Humbro matte acrylic twenty nine um, dark earth. And then the wing, the four, the wing struts, uh, the the support struts. Both the wing mounted, uh, the wing struts and the fuselage struts were painted, all painted in Humbrol, in matte, and, and also painted in Humbrol 29, uh, Humbrol matte acrylic 29, uh, Humbrol acrylic matte finish, dark earth, uh, dark earth, Humbrol 29 dark earth. And then the... And then the engine area was painted, and then the engine, the 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 front, the engine area was painted in hum in Rebel Aqua Color Matte 103 um, in Matte in Rebel Aqua Color 
Matt103, uh, Matt Revel at Coquella, uh, metallic finish, um, 99 um, aluminium. So that was covers the whole, so that's for the whole engine area forward uh, for the whole engine area up to, of course, the actual the cowling. I'll just change my fingers again now, just so I can hold it. The The propeller was painted in Humbr the, the propeller was painted in Humbrol 29 uh, again in Humbrol Humbrol acrylic matte finish Humbrol 29 dark earth and the spit and the actual the the uh, the spinner um, the spinner the spinner plate was the the spinner plate was painted in Humbrol initially painted in Humbrol 99 in, in, in Rebel Aqua Color 99 aluminium and then I I went over that over the top cut uh, over overcoated that with Humbrol 53 gun metal to give it more of a, a steely a, a more of a steel look because I think that's the the the, the, the propeller sh the prop shaft on the um the prop shaft on the Sopworth camel is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a, I think it is is steel it's made of steel and then the machine guns the machine guns were, the machine guns were painted in Humbro in Humbro 33 matte black. Well, well, the Lewis gun on the top of the wing was were painted in Humbro 33 matte black. The Lewis, the machine gun that's on the right hand side, that's on the right hand side, it was painted in Humbro. It was was repainted in Humbro 33 matte black because, of course, I accidentally got um hum, uh, the, the 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 aluminium color onto the machine gun and then the only other part and I don't know if you're going to see it very well but the the, the handle of the machine gun was painted in Humbrol 30 was painted in Humbrol 30 it was in painted in Humbrol 29 in Humbrol 29, in Humbrol 29, um, in Humbrol 29, uh, Humbrol Acrylic 29, Dark Earth. I don't know how well you're going to see that, but. I think you're getting it. And the only other part really and then the only other thing that I painted was the tail skid um, was the tail was the tail skid was the tail skid and that was in Humbrol 29 Dark Earth the main wheels The main wheels were painted in Humbrol. Uh, again, were painted in Humbrol. Thirty. The main wheels get. The main wheels are painted again. Were well, then were, were painted in Humbrol. Um, both sides of the main wheels were painted in Humbrol. Uh, Eighty six um, olive green. And that's both the outside, so that's both the outside wheel, the outside of the wheel, and the um, the outside of the wheels and the inside, which which you can probably see on that so on the now you can probably see from that angle. Probably see from this angle here, and you can probably see from this angle 
and then from that angle the and then the tires the tires were painted in and but and then of course the t and then the tires were painted and then the wheels t the, the the tires were painted in the tires were painted in matte 103 were painted in humbro 33 matte black um the the struts that hold the land that hold the main wheel the, the support struts that hold the main that hold the wheels to the airframe were painted humbro 86 um um olive green and then of course the axle the axle were painted or the axe the main and then the the, the main undercarriage axle was painted in humbro 33 map uh, humbro uh humbro 29 dark earth and as you can probably see the underside the underside is mainly all um, is, is remains uh, stayed. Didn't is, is the Mat 103 cream. The underside is the Mat 103 cream, and of course it's out, the underside. Of the engine is all um, is all the uh, the, the Revel Aqua Color 99 aluminium. So yeah, that is the BE2C um, chaps and ladies. Um, so that is the BE2C chaps and ladies. Um, like I say, I'm really pleased how it's I'm really pleased with how the paintwork's turned out. Um, I mean, it's not finished yet completely because, of course, I've still um, and I'm just about to discuss what's the next plan of action, as it were. Um, What's the next plan of action as it were so the next so you won't see an update on this now you won't see the final reveal on this now till i've got the the decals on so i've got the decals so i've got the decals the deck so i've got the decals on uh the decals are the decals have I've put the decals on and they've been bedded down using the setting solution that i use decals on and set it and bedded down using the set using the cells using the setting solution that i use um and then after they've been and after they've been set once they've once after they've bedded been bedded after they've set down after they've been set once they've been bedded down using the set solution i use i'll then gloss coat it to seal the decals to seal the decals in so that i don't get any carrier film uh any any any, any signs of carrier any any signs of the carrier film any signs of the carrier film and then of course after that it will be and then it will be um so and then after that it'll be mat one and then of course after that it'll be mat 103 and then after i've after i've applied after i've after i've glossed it to apply the the docker to apply the decals so after i've done the mat 103 after i've after i've gloss after i've gloss coated it i'll then after i've got after I've gloss coated it, I'll then um, after I've gloss coated it, I'll then matte coat it, and then of course the last, and then of course it won't be till I've done the rigging, which is going to be a challenge. But hey, it's a new challenge, and I like new challenges. So yeah, that is it really for the Sopworth Camel. Um, yeah, what more can I say? Right, I'm gonna don't not now, please. Thank you, Mr. Sopworth. Not now, Mr. Sopworth. Not now, Sopworth Camel. So yeah, that's it. I'll give you two more minutes. Right. Right. So that was it for the Sopworth Camel. Um, that's it for Sopworth Camel. All that remains to be said for this video. All that remains to be said is, like I said, I don't know when the final. I don't know when the final reveal will be, will be, but when it obviously when I do when it I don't know when uh, obviously I don't know when the final reveal will be, but when obviously when I when it's ready when it's re when I'm ready to do, when it's ready when the aircraft is ready to, for the final reveal, obviously I'll bring it to you as soon as possible. Um, all that must be said is stay safe, be safe, stay safe, be safe, be happy, 
have fun, enjoy modelling, and thank until and, and until the new until this and until the new and until the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, bye.